What's up YouTube? So coming to you guys today from a little bit of a different video in the in the house here. Got a package in the mail. It does revolve around the GTX. So in this video, I guess I'm gonna kind of title like, the, like what is a GTX? A lot of people are still telling me they don't know what it is or people are telling me no, GTX has V8. Um, that's the GXP, so let's get into it. Um, I ordered this from, I crossed out my address of course, but I ordered this from time-lapse products there on eBay. They have some really cool stuff. They also have the same thing as this, but a WS6 Trans Am one and a Firehawk one. So I think I'm gonna end up picking those up too because down the line I will have one of those cars. I really want a Firehawk. So be cool to have. Uh, so yeah, here it is. A little bit of a little bit of info on the GTX. So this one is from a 2003, unfortunately. Mine's in 1999, but it's still the same thing. You know, 97 to 03 Grand Prix are the same thing. So let's kind of pull this sucker out. It's in pretty good shape too for for a 2003. So let's kind of just kind of go over. So the GTX is a variant of the GTP that Pontiac and SLP built. So when it came off the line in the in the factory, you know, and whenever it was built 2003 or 1999 like mine, it came off the factory and went straight to SLP and they did their touch on it, which made it the GTX. So they were very limited. That's why not many people know about them, but you can kind of read that if you want to. Um, some things that the previous owner had that I wanted, he had these wheels, which I couldn't get. I don't know if it was those wheels. Mine is a stage one GTX. They're stage one, two, and three. Mine's a one, unfortunately, but it's still pretty cool. He had the badges, GTX wheels, and he had, um, I'll get to it in a minute. You guys can just kind of check it out. As you can see, they did come in black. I had some people thinking they only came in red. They came in black. Um, mine has not that exhaust. Mine has the SLP exhaust, which is pretty cool. Um, You guys can pause that and read that if you want to. There's the Firehawk. Um, this is this page is pretty cool. I didn't know you could get it optioned with that wood grain interior. That's pretty cool. Um, and these he had these, um, which I really really wanted. He had those, the rims and the badges, and I really wanted those bad, but he wouldn't get rid of them. So. Three stage GTX strategy. There's three of them. We'll see that in the next one right here. So stage one, which is what mine is, it's 15 extra horsepower on top of the GTP. So you get a cap back dual exhaust, an SLP exhaust. Um, you get under the hood cold air induction system, which is awesome. It's a very functional cold air intake. And I'll show you guys that when I get the car back from the shop. It's currently at the shop getting four brake lines and three window regulators fixed. Um, and then the stage one exterior badge. So stage two, you get 20 horsepower, performance pack, 180 degree thermostat, hypertech power programmer with SOP custom calibration, stage two exterior package, or stage two exterior badge. Then you get stage three is the, for the hardcore enthusiast, I guess, is 25 horsepower to the GT and 30 horsepower to the GTP. So yes, you could get the GTX on the GT. So you get the stage two performance package, 1.8 higher ratio rocker arms and push rods for the GT, 3.5 inch smaller pulley for the GTP and the badge. So it's pretty cool. I mean, there's just some kind of, you can also option with suspension, you know, brake, better brakes, stuff like that. So the GTX is pretty cool. Uh, it's a little bit of a limited edition thing, obviously, very few of them. And uh, I'm my goal, is to kind of take care of this car, trying to kind of get it back up to, you know, being a decent car. Because, uh, well, at the shop today, he's going to call me once they get it up on the lift. It's been there for a couple days. They just haven't had a chance. He's going to call me today once they get up on the lift. Let me know what it really needs, he said. I'm not going to fix stuff that you don't want fixed, but I'm going to tell you what I think it really, really needs. It's a very reputable shop, small shop. And uh, he said, I'm going to tell you if there's any holes in the frame or anything like that, because it's they're known for that, these Grand Prix. I'm like, I already know the rockers are bad. Just let me know if there's any serious rust in, like, the frame or anywhere like that. <sighs> Which it doesn't seem to be. He said he took a peek underneath it without lifting it, but he's going to let me know. And then they're going to do the four brake lines. So they'll have brand new brake lines. They won't be rusted um, and some other stuff like that. And then we'll do everything else here. Like, my rotors and pads should be here today. Um, my drilled and slotted rotors and ceramic pads all around, front and rear. 
Um, a couple other things should be here today. We'll wire the halos when we get the when we get the car back. And uh, yeah, but that's just a little thing on the uh, GTX. So the GTX is just a variant of the GT GTP by SLP. And uh, SLP also did that run with the Trans Am. You get the Firehawk. I believe the WS6. I know the WS6 is just a performance package on top of the Trans Am, or whatever Firebird Trans Am. Um, but I believe SLP came in. It had the WS6 Trans Am has SLP upgrades. You know, like the I believe it's the exhaust intake and the Ram Air hood. Um, but I think at the special SLP Trans Am is the Firehawk, which is the one I'd really like to get in a manual transmission. So that's kind of like a dream car of mine to have, you know, and keep forever. But I think these are pretty cool too. They're unique and. They hold their own. They got about 260 to 270 horsepower, depending on which trim you get or which stage you got. One, two, three. Mine is about 200 and what's mine? 255 to 260 horsepower. So, yeah, that's just a little bit on what is a GTX. GXP is the V8. So, a lot of you guys are getting that confused. A lot of people get that confused, I guess, on my video. So, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, guys. And the GTX will be back from the shop here probably tomorrow. Then I'm going to get the exhaust leak fixed and we'll get on to everything else. So, peace.